A story of a dozen animals seized, at rather dozens of animals seized from a Galveston County feed store. Those animals, including goats, pigs, sheep, even snakes. And it's a story we broke first on Click2Houston.com this morning at 1117. That feed store in Santa Fe in Galveston County. Channel 2's Phil Archer has been there since noon today. Phil, what can you tell us? Actually, there were hundreds of animals housed here, most of them hauled away in the last hour or so. They were seized as part of an investigation into alleged malnourishment and neglect. A big piece of the evidence in this case, three animals found dead here. The animals could have filled an ark, sheep and goats, a donkey, dogs and cats, chickens, white mice, pigs and peacocks. One not anxious to leave, seized by Galveston County welfare workers and Galveston police. The seizures follow a months long investigation that culminated with the discovery of a dead animal at the store Tuesday. When we came out this last Tuesday, we found animals not being fed, and we did find a deceased pot belly pig in one of the stalls. The store's owner, Shannon Ivan, says the pig was left in her parking lot and was already sick when she took it in. That's what it's over is that pig didn't make it. And they found that it was mountain tourists, which I knew that, which I was trying to make it fat or put weight on it. Ivan insists all the other animals are well fed and cared for. Longtime customers rush to her defense. I've never seen a hungry, starved animal in there. Never. Okay. Never. But while inventorying the animals today, investigators found two more dead a bird and a mouse. All of the survivors are now on their way to the Humane Society shelter in Houston. I believe court is set for a week from Friday, uh -huh. and we are hoping at that point that a court will award full custody to Houston Humane Society of all the animals. The final tally of animals hauled away from here today, 214 in all. The owner was not available to talk about the two who were found dead here this afternoon, but earlier she did say she intends to get the others back when this case finally goes to court next week. Reporting live in Santa Fe, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News.